First off, just uh, just a really good job by our pitchers all weekend. Um, you know, for the most part, all three games, they gave us an opportunity to win. And uh, even in the first game today, Peyton Paulette pitched really well, five plus. And, you know, you take away maybe one walk, two walks. I think that uh, the outcome might have been a little bit different. They put together the big inning and, uh, you know, we brought Monk back in and he, uh, you know, he, he walked a batter on four pitches and, you know, we were in trouble a little bit. And game two, uh, just uh, another great job on the mound. Patrick Buchlander, I mean, he goes seven full innings, doesn't walk a batter, strikes out five and uh, just pitched ahead in the count all night and gave us a chance to kind of chip away and, and beat a good team and a good pitcher in, in the most important game of the series. Uh, it was a long day. We had a two-hour you know, break between games. Our team, we didn't have anywhere to go. We just sat in the dugout and in the bullpen and uh, South Carolina, they disappeared. And uh, we, we, we kind of, we just toughed it out, man. Just proud of them. Bob? Dave, did you have some Snickers and apples between games or what? Yeah, exactly what I had. Two Snickers and uh, we had bananas. We had uh, some other things that weren't very healthy, but uh, it worked. And then Cops, he was probably even better tonight. I know he didn't pitch one less than anybody. He faced 15 guys on the weekend, retired them all, 12 Ks. What would you say about his performance for the weekend and especially t tonight? Yeah. Well, for the whole weekend, it was amazing. Um, but tonight's, you know, we had a, I think we had a four, four run lead when we brought him in in the eighth. And I even said something to Coach Hobbs that maybe we ought to just go we got somebody out there and give us three outs and then uh, we'll bring Kevin in the ninth and coach Hobbs just looked at me and said, Kevin's fine. I said, okay. And uh, <laughs> good call. So uh, by coach Hobbs and uh, you know, he did a great job. He just filling up the zone, getting ahead of hitters and threw a little bit of everything at him. Just, I mean, it's, uh, it's not easy to do. And he, some days he makes it look easy and it's not. Hey, thanks, Dave. I, I got a couple more, but you know, I'll turn it back. Yeah, Dave, I think you said last week that it was the best Wicklanders thrown all year. I mean, did he build off of that performance today? And what specifically was was working for him? I mean, two great outings in a row, really maybe three, three good outings in a row. And uh, what was working for him is that he just threw everything for a strike. And he didn't throw a lot of change-ups, threw a lot of fastballs, worked them in and out, got ahead in the count. Then he would uh, you know, elevate some, some pitches, one, two, oh, two, and you got a few strikeouts there, got some fly balls, got some first pitch outs, and it allowed him to stay in the game uh, because he kept his pitch count down. And uh, I thought Casey called a great game. You know, we didn't mess with Casey too much. Him and Pat were working great together, and we let him roll. And what did you see on the, the home run he gave up to Allen? It came on a one, two pitch. I guess, was that just a mistake or? Well, the, it, that was a great at bat by Allen. I mean, he fouls off, I don't know how many pitches, 0 2. We finally throw one low, makes it 1 2. Um, the pitch was a, a slider and it was down and in. And he just he just got the barrel head to it and it jumped. I mean, it was a no doubter and uh, just a really good at bat. Tom. Uh, Dave, I'm wondering what this says about your team that you had to kind of shuffle your pitching rotation. You shuffled your your batting order quite a bit too. That you you just keep winning even road series. Yeah, just I just think they they like to play. They uh, they like to win. They fight to win, um, even when it's not pretty sometimes. So they don't care where I put them in the batting order. And you know the the pitchers. I think they they, they felt like they had something to prove because you know they've been they haven't. I don't know. Maybe they're not getting the respect that they they they've earned. With, so far this year, uh, they came down here and they, they pitched really well. And then two scoring situations. You got the seven, eight, nine hitters de delivered for you uh, in the third. And then uh, Wallace's home run, if you could speak to those a little bit. Yeah, the, the third inning of the second game was, uh, was huge for us. I think we got four hits that inning. I think we had three in a row. Um, you know, we didn't get a lot of hits after that. We had to scratch and fight for those last three runs. There was off maybe – one hit, fielder's choice. I mean, we just – some walks mixed in there. And 
they have, they've got a really good bullpen. They brought a couple of really good arms out of the pen tonight, and they held us down a little bit. But uh, yeah, it was uh, it was tough trying to score runs when Wallace hit that ball. Uh, I felt like it was going out off the bat. That was a huge swing for us to give us a four to one lead at the time, because um, we were just up one before that swing, and that's when you could start thinking a little bit more about you know how many more outs do we need before we can go to Kev. Thanks. Yep. Dave? Yeah, Dave, just one, did you ever uh, decide to get another game Tuesday and, and just how good is it going to be to have a completely rested pitching staff next weekend? Well, we're going to need it against LSU because they can swing the bats and they're tough at home. Um, yeah, we haven't found anybody that has volunteered to come over and play us. We're not going to travel, especially after this trip to go play a game. Um, so if we don't get a game, we'll just, obviously I'll give them tomorrow off and Sunday and we'll work out light, probably more weights and a few things heal up and then get after it on Tuesday, with Tuesday, Wednesday with a couple of practices and then head down to the Baton Rouge. That, that'll probably be the plan. Thanks. Matt? Hey, what has Wicklander done to, to lower the amount of walks that he's given up this year? You know, I, I just think he's he just re repeating his delivery. I mean, his mechanics just seemed really good, and he's in control of his body, uh, throwing strikes. And I guess that's, I mean, mechanics and having a good delivery, that, that's the key to repeating everything and throwing the ball over that plate. And that's what he's been doing. Randy. Dave, I don't know what the record is for swings and misses, but Wick had maybe as many as I've ever seen swings and misses. What was making the difference tonight for those batters to swing and miss so many different pitches? His fastball was running a lot and it was sinking as well. And then he would elevate it and they were swinging. They swing and they swing hard. Um, they don't get cheated. And I just, I don't know, a lot of movement. You know, I, we're off to the side, so we can really only see up and down for the most part. Uh, but it had to be movement for them to swing and miss at any time. And then put in perspective what it means to win every series so far this year. Well, it's really hard to do. I mean, you usually stub your toe. Even if you're a really good team, you got great pitching. Uh, we have good pitching. We have good bullpen. We have pretty solid lineup that'll fight you, but to win every series, it's, uh, it's uh, an accomplishment for sure. Um, you know, we don't talk about it too much. Um, you know, we, we talked after today's first game and just said, hey, you know, we want to win this series. This is a big game right here and uh, we need to out tough them. So, you know, that was really all that I've mentioned about winning series in the last few weeks. It, you know, this was a big game and we needed to win this series. and. You know, the way we were, it was set up for us to just hang out and do nothing for an hour until we started stretching and working out again. You know, and then it became a toughness thing and a mental thing, and the guys really did a nice job stepping up. Bob, we'll come back around to you. Yeah, Dave, um, I don't think South, I think this is the first home series South Carolina's lost. They were 16 2. So you guys beat them this last two days as many times as they've lost all year at home. What, what do you think about that? Yeah, we knew that they were really good at home. We knew their record here was 16 and two. And, uh, you know, it's just, it is sometimes teams are, you know, most of the time teams are a lot better at home. Um, very, very seldom does a team play better on the road than at home. And usually that doesn't last very long. Um, and usually when you know your own ballpark and surface and the wind and your fans are helping you, you're going to win at home. So another good road win, road series win. And uh, again, I, I don't think our guys get too wound up about everything and uh, where we're at, they just play. And then you guys hit a bunch more home runs again. You just keep hitting home runs. What, you know, no matter who you're playing, they, they obviously have really good pitchers, hard throwers. What, what do you think about that? Yeah, I think we, I don't know, we hit three today and maybe three yesterday. Is that probably right? Maybe six on the weekend. And, you know, it's a good hitter's park for the most part. Uh, but I don't know. I mean, that, we do hit home runs and it's a big part of our offense. And it's nice when you hit home runs when there's somebody on base. And that's what we, what Wallace did today that really helped us. 
Thanks. Coach, anything else? Yeah, we didn't see uh, Connor today. Was it just a matter of not having an opportunity to get him in there? Yeah, I think just he hadn't pitched in a while. He was ready to go, and we were ready to use him. Um, really just Wicklander gave us more innings than we thought. Uh, or, you know, we, we were hoping we'd get seven, six out of him anyway. And when he got a seven and left us with six outs to go, we said, let's just go to Kevin. And uh, Connor's time's coming. We'll throw him against some hitters this week. Um, and then he'll be ready for next weekend if we need him. And then with Vermillion uh, coming back, does, was he just a little rusty today, or what did you make of his outing? Yeah, I felt like he was a little rusty. Some of the stuff was pretty good. He just uh, wasn't commanding it like normal, but uh, I'd say he was a little bit rusty. Tom, last thing from you. Yeah, I just wanted to follow up on what Nate was asking. Can you envision Wicklander going back to Friday and then Paulette on Saturday next week? And then yeah, I mean, it's uh, when you look at it, he – it's Friday, so we'd have a full week of rest and get back on track. And, uh, uh, you know, that that's what I would anticipate unless something happens in the next few days. But, but I would think that's what we would do. Matt, we've got a flight to catch. Last one from you. Yeah, uh, it's not very often you get a, a weekend off like this during the middle of the season. What, what are the plans for this weekend, and, and how does the rest maybe help your team? Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna mow some of my uh, one of my <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, as far as the guys, I imagine they're gonna enjoy every minute of this, and uh, we won't get back to probably I don't know two in the morning. Um, hopefully, they'll get some rest, and hey, maybe I'll go watch softball game tomorrow. I don't know, but uh, it's it is it's interesting. You know, you get a chance to catch up on whatever you need to catch up on. Uh, I'll probably watch some ball games and uh, take care of some business. I think that's what the, the players will do. We're not going to have anything mandatory the next couple of days. I'm sure some guys will want to hit on Sunday because that's what our hitters want to do. And there'll be some optional times there. We'll open some things up for them, but uh, we won't do anything until Monday officially. And then you mentioned after the Ole Miss series that your starters have got to give you more innings and, and they've, they've gone longer the last two weekends. How much better do you feel about at least what Paulette and Wicklander have given you over the last couple of weeks? Well, I feel, I feel a lot better about it. I know our whole team feels good about it. And, you know, I commented to the pitching staff right after the game that, you know, we won two out of three because they gave us opportunity to do that. And, um, you know, they, they came here, like I said, they had a little bit of an edge coming down here and, and they did a nice job.